Hi, my name is Fred Master Pasqua. I'm a Scrum Alliance certified Scrum trainer with Clearly Agile. Today I'm going to talk to you about specialized teams or skill set based teams. Uh, like, What do you do when you don't have enough of a certain skill set to put on all your Scrum teams and your teams and how, how do you deal with that? So let's talk about, let's give an example. Let's say we have five Scrum teams. All right, we have five Scrum teams and each team has a Scrum Master. And each team has a Scrum Master. All right, ideally has a Scrum Master on that team and also has a product owner, some type of product owner. And we may be using a scaling technique, uh, possibly using some type of scaling technique, but for this example, we won't go into that. And so you have five teams here, and maybe you need a specialty on your teams like a user experience person, a UX. Right? That might be a, a specialty you have. Or maybe it's a, uh, a database, DBA, database administrator, that you want to put on the, on the teams, but you don't have enough of them. Maybe it's even uh, some type of DevOps skill based uh, skill. Whatever that skill is, or specialized role, that's a lot of software specific skills. But if you're doing non-software, you know, maybe marketing, maybe you have a designer. You don't have enough designers to go on all the teams. So there's a couple, two things that you can do. One is you could have on a daily basis, right, these teams are going to have something called maybe a daily scrum. They're going to meet within the teams and sync up with each other. And then what you could do is form, one way to do this is form a, like a Kanban team or a Kanban team of your various skill sets, UX, DB, A's, whatever they are, right? Your specialties could be on a team. We'll say networking engineer, networking. And the other teams could meet on a daily basis and escalate any issues up, right? They agree that every day at X time we're gonna meet. Let's say every day at 10 a.m. we're gonna meet. And a representative here from the team or all or the whole team maybe attends and listens in on any issues that arise at this level, right? So they're going to escalate any issues. Hey, we're having problems with the database server. We can't access. We're having, we need a UX help with this thing coming up in the future. And so this team's going to pull that work in or that request in and use some type of Kanban board or Kanban board to do that work, right? And they have some type of agreement that, hey, we agree that every day by two o'clock, we'll try to resolve your issue, try to get what you need done. This is more reactive, right? This is kind of like a reactive approach. So they're listening, they're reacting, unless these teams can bring up requests that they know are coming up in the future, right? But if it's something where they need help right now, then that team maybe could help with that, that reactive type work. And then you could track based on your Kanban metric items, like you know where you know, maybe you don't have, even then you still don't have enough of a certain skill set. So it's kind of one way, it's create a Kanban team of your specialized roles, escalating the issues on a daily basis to those roles. And then maybe product owners could request into that team and put things on their Kanban board to prepare for things coming up in the future, right? That's one way to uh, address it. The other way, other thing you can do is call a, a virtual team. And I don't mean virtual team like remote, right? That's usually what lately we've been, we're used to virtual teams. Is not, it just means we're remote. I'm talking about a specialized team that's not really a team together. So they're kind of like a, a shadow team almost. So let's say that you had a, a group of user experience uh, specialties. So I have a user experience person one, user experience person two. Let's say I have three user experience people. Right? And they form a, what we call a UX virtual team. Right? They don't actually sit and work together. That's why they're a virtual team. They're not really working together. But what they have is a product owner, some type of product owner or some person that prioritizes the work. And so how this works is that each team or product owners would request into the virtual team, hey, UX team, we need help with, with this. So request number one, and we need help with this. Request number two. And there's some type of agreement on the virtual team. This is what you need to make it work is that when you submit a request, we'll respond within 24 or 48 hours to let you know where you are in the, in the, in the priority. Right? We'll let you know where you are in the priority. Right? And so people put in request in, this product owner's job is to prioritize these requests and what's most important. If you're doing some type of scaling technique, right, how are they going to know what's most important? That means this product owner needs to meet with all these product owners. They might all meet together, right, and have a discussion, have a little debating on really what's most important. Because there's not enough people to go around to everybody. Right? So A, we have to prioritize that work. Then what happens is every single sprint, 
right? So let's say we're in sprint five, maybe we're in sprint five. This product owner is going to almost like deploy, deploy this UX person as a guest team member to those teams uh, based on the request. So I might say, okay, uh, you know, let's, we'll, we'll name these A, B, and C. UX person A, you're going to go over to team one, and you're going to go there for all of sprint five. Uh, UX person B, you're going to go to team two. Uh, based on you know the uh, efforts, uh, we think you'll probably be there half a team, half a sprint five, and then also help out this other team for the other half of sprint five. A uh, UX person, you're going to go to this team for sprint uh, for sprint five. Next sprint, hey person, uh, UX person A, you're going to go to this team for sprint uh, seven or sprint six, right? And so you're deploying the specialties to those scrum teams as needed a sprint on a sprint by sprint basis. And so these, that's why it's a virtual team in the sense that they never actually work physically together. They work on, they're always in a scrum team working with a scrum team. Now, if they're trying to, if they need to solve a problem that's related to the product with that team, then they're with the right people. If they have an issue with the skill set in itself, meaning I'm a UX person, they got a really complicated problem here that I'm not really sure how to handle, then I can go back to my virtual team to get, to get some help and advice from the other like skill sets. All right, so that's kind of how you deal with specialized roles. Uh, and you have to think whether, you know, you need to have this product owner here, so there's some overhead to that. And you, have to ha you need to have that agreement in that sense of, you know, after 24 or 48 hours, whatever that is, we'll let you know where you are on the priority. That way these product owners can better plan for that work coming up in that sprint. Right. So I hope this was helpful. Leave any comments or questions down below. Again, my name is Fred Master Pascal with Clearly Agile.